Today marks exactly 50 days since the most recent eruption of Kilauea volcano began. A total of 614 homes have now been destroyed, according to the latest tally released this morning by the County of Hawaii. And of course, the eruption has also led to the shutdown of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. And based on recent year-over-year -year spending, that's costing the Big Island economy more than $19 million. The volcano house, which sits inside of the park on the edge of Halemaumau, has laid off nearly 100 people alone with no guess on when they might be able to return. And they are hardly the only ones that are feeling the financial pinch. With more than 2 million visitors each year, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is right with Pearl Harbor as the most popular attraction in the state. And all those visitors mean money. According to the National Park Service, the volcano generated approximately $166 million in both direct and indirect spending last year. But ever since the lava started flowing, the cash flow stopped to the tune of about $455,000 each day. Janet, you've been here for 28 years at this beautiful place. Never experienced a summer like this, though, obviously. No, nope, no, nope, never. Very quiet this summer where we're normally very busy. Summertime is a very busy time for us here. While the entire island is feeling the financial fallout, Volcano Village is among the hardest hit. Guests of Kilauea Lodge have been canceling reservations through the summer, even into the fall. Fortunately, we haven't let anybody go. We have um, cut back on hours, and we continue to cut back on hours. Uh, our rooms are quite slow, and so housekeeping is being affected. Restaurant has picked up a little bit um, thanks to local support. <laughs> Down the street at the Ohello Cafe, hours have also been slashed. In fact, just this week, the cafe eliminated lunch. Yeah, we can't afford to stay open. We've got to lay off almost half of our entire staff and uh, cut back hours on the people that are remaining. We're open six nights a week now, and those six nights are doing okay, but it's getting pretty meager up here. When the park was open, an average of 5,000 people visited every day, and many of them stopped in Volcano Village to shop or eat or simply look around. It's like a ghost town some days, some mornings. We get a big surge sometimes, but it's really dropped off. And the B&Bs have given us a lot of business. And now that they're not booking and everything's slow, it's really, it's worse. But that's not to say visitors have completely stopped passing through. Even with the park closed, the volcano remains a draw. Certainly we wanted to see it. We're a little bit disappointed we can't. So we drove down here on a whim, thinking maybe we'd see something. So uh, we're going to keep trying to see what we can see. Because, you know, I mean, you still come. There's plenty to do. But it was, it was something that we looked forward to that we couldn't do. We're getting closer and closer, then we can see it much more clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Exciting. So exciting. It's so beautiful. Vicki Tong is visiting from China. She's one of the lucky ones. A friend drove her close enough to witness the eruption. Yesterday we drive here, we see the red sky, and we see the volcano explosion. It's really exciting, and we take a lot of amazing pictures. Also impressive, the way the people who call this island home have stepped up to support one another. How important is it that the locals have stepped up to support local business? It's so great for them to be coming and shopping here. And we do have a lot of, we cater to their needs too, and so they keep coming, and um, they're just the greatest people in Volcano. And back to the Kilauea Lodge. They tell us if you're looking for something to do this summer, maybe a staycation, the welcome mat is out. We've got great deals going on, Kama'aina and, and even visitors from the mainland uh, and abroad. We've got great deals for lodging going on right now. And it is a beautiful place. Meanwhile, some island residents affected by the lava will now be able to apply for disaster unemployment assistance. It can only be used by people living or working in the affected lava areas and are now unemployed as a result of the disaster. Benefits begin May 6th. They expire in November.